anytime you can play with someone who's like top 20 or 30 in the world, there's, there's stuff you can pick up on and learn from. And, and I was lucky enough last year at this tournament, I played with Jordan and, and Adam Scott, and, uh, and that was unreal. Jordan rolls the ball so well. His putting is phenomenal. And, and uh, it really shows you how good you can putt if you work hard at it. Um, and Scotty, his ball striking when it's on is unreal too. So you can definitely pick up things and learn and, and realize that you've got to get better if you want to play at that level. Um, I know when I play really well, I can compete. So yeah, hopefully this week that'll, that'll be the case. I guess any week you're trying to win. So my plan is to play as well as I can this week and hopefully be in contention on the weekend. The field's great. There's a lot of really good players. So uh, it's just been being contention come Sunday and, and give it a good crack and, and I'll be happy. Greens are a lot firmer than what I have been playing recently, so uh, that'll take a couple of days to get used to. You're landing it on the front with a seven iron, it's bouncing past to the middle or the back of the green. That's a big difference. The wind's really quite strong here too. The, not only is it strong, it, it's sort of heavy wind. It, it really affects your ball, so yeah, it should be a really good test. Playing uh, WGC Bridgestone and and the WGC HSBC Champions was, uh, it was a good experience for me. I haven't played that many US Tour events, so playing with a limited field with the best players in the world is always, always a great thing. It's where you want to be, it's where you want to be playing. I hadn't really had any practice leading into it. Had, yeah, basically three months off before it, so that was pretty disappointing, and that, that golf course is brutal. It's tightest fairways I've played, some of the smallest greens, and, and there's no room for error. China, a couple of weeks ago, wasn't, wasn't too bad. I, I played okay, but playing okay in a field with the, with the best players in the world, you, you don't really get anywhere. You, you finish mid to back of the field. And yeah, Aussie Masters was really special last year. I, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. It's where you want to be. It's what you practice for as a kid. It's, the Masters is one of those tournaments you see when you're growing up and you see Brad Hughes and Rob Pampling and Norman and, and all these guys with a gold jacket and it was really disappointing to not be able to defend it this year but trying to get on a on a world stage and, and on a big tour it, uh, it's the priority and I got off to a really good start nine under the first day and, and was leading by a couple and uh, it, it's as good a start as you can have but when it's six rounds for the tournament it's uh, it, all it is is a nice start. It doesn't really mean a lot because there's so much golf left to play. And uh, had five over the last day to miss out, and I actually played okay, and, and didn't feel that bad. I, I felt like I played sort of solid, but it's just golf. And um, so I got my full challenge card with the European Tour School. Uh, but challenge tour is tough. There's yeah, there's a lot of expenses traveling through Europe, and you're not making a lot of money on that tour. I'll play as many European events as I can get into and hopefully get my full card on web.com and, and play well there and and that's the pathway to the PGA Tour. I'm, I'm spending most of my time in the US so it's definitely where I want to be playing and I'll definitely be trying to do a lot more PGA Tour qualifying next year and I love the place. It's, it's a great country. It, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good place to be and best place to play golf. <laughs>